I don't know if this story is real or fake, but I do know that this story is worth your time. See, thousands of years ago, according to religion, there was Babylon. A place where humanity spoke one language and humans could understand each other. One day, they decided to challenge God, so together they built a really tall tower to reach heavens. But God was not happy, so he punished them by making them speak different languages. And when humans spoke different languages, all of a sudden, they couldn't communicate, they couldn't build, and they got stuck. You might think this story is about religion, but it's not. This is about languages, because they are more dangerous than we think. People like languages. Bonjour, hello, shalom. They think they are sexy, but in reality, they are risky. Because I believe the more languages we have, the less we can talk to each other. This isn't just the Bible, this is real life. Take Papua New Guinea, for example. It's a country made up of 800 tribes, each with their own unique language. So this country had... 800 languages! And because of that, tribes could not communicate with each other, so they fought. Only after they adopted a simple form of English called Pidgin, tribes were able to talk to each other and build a country. This is just a real-life example of the danger of languages. Naturally, my friends get offended when I say that the world should have one language. They think this is disrespectful to other nations and to other languages. But I disagree, and I am not the only one. Someone 150 years ago realized that languages make us fight. So instead of complaining, he went to work and invented a new language designed to unite us all. And he called it Esperanto. This language is 10 times simpler than a normal language. It takes 150 hours to learn Esperanto, and it takes 2,000 hours to learn German. The hope of this language is to be universal so the whole world can speak it. That's why Esperanto was designed from the grounds up to have simple grammar, simple words, simple everything. When I read about this language, I got excited to learn it because this is exactly what the world needs, something to unite us. I am tired of going to Thailand and not speak to the locals because I don't speak Thai. I am tired of going to China and make zero friends because I can't speak to anyone. I am tired of wars happening because of language barriers. If we all speak the same language, like, I don't know, Esperanto or English or Chinese, whatever it is, I am convinced we can build something much bigger than the Tower of Babel, and we can reach new heights. See you next week. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. Before you stop the video and quit it, I wanna tell you a little bit about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. I was so happy when they wanted to sponsor this because not many people care about Esperanto. And they do care about Esperanto. What is Skillshare? It's essentially a website where you can go and get a new skill or learn something new. Skillshare has unlimited classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. Most classes are under 60 minutes or less, so you can literally learn a new skill under 60 minutes. It's very powerful and it's very effective. For example, there's a class called Going Viral. Write, film, and make content people share. Essentially, it's a class to help you get more people to care about your content. It's very helpful for people like me, and it's very helpful for people like you. The Esperanto video, for example, got 8 million views. That was viral. How did it get so viral, especially when people don't care about Esperanto? Anyway, Skillshare has been nice to sponsor not just me, but also you. 
So you can get actually two months free if you just click on the link below. This is only valid for the first 1,000 people. So I highly recommend it. You have nothing to lose because you're getting two months free and I think you will use it for the next few years. Thank you so much. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.